I start my day with PB&J, Pastor Bob and Java. Hope you have your Java ready and your Bible ready. Today's uh, scripture is found in Genesis chapter 9. If you want to go there, you can get there before I get there and be ready for it. So here's the question for today. Dear Pastor Bob, I have a question that I've been pondering. We all know the rainbow is God's promise to never flood the world again. But were there rainbows before the great flood? I'm sure it rained before all of that. Did God create the rainbow after the great flood? Good question. And I think I have an answer. So the rainbow was God's promise never to flood the world again. And um, there are small floods that have been happening in limited places, but he's never flooded the world again. And that's a big deal because it was part of his promise. Now, that nice rainbow you see in the sky is not the symbol for the LGBTQ plus community at all. God had it first and we're reclaiming it. <laughs> so it belongs to him and it's a promise to you, a promise of his love, actually. So um, I, I want to go through this scripture really quick. And it's found again in Genesis chapter 9, verses 13 to 15. And, uh, and here he says, I set my rainbow in the clouds and it shall be a sign of a covenant between me and the earth. It shall come about when I bring clouds over the earth that the rainbow shall be seen in the clouds and I will compassionately remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And never again will the water become a flood to destroy all flesh. So this is important and there's a couple things here that that you ought to know about. He said, I set my rainbow in the clouds and it shall be a sign between you and all flesh. It shall come about when I bring clouds over the earth that the rainbow shall be seen in the clouds. In other words, he's talking about something that's about to happen. And I will compassionately remember my covenant, the covenant, the new covenant that he's making. But right before that, he says, um, I will, um, it w it'll become about when I bring clouds over the earth that the rainbow will be seen there and I will put the rainbow in the clouds, he said. I will set the rainbow in the clouds. So let's talk about the clouds for a minute. In fact, what was in the clouds before the rainbow? You know, it's widely believed by scientists and also by biblical scholars that, uh, and I, I'm, I am not uh, either of those. <laughs> I, I, I can't uh, prove this part, but some people do, that before the earth um, uh, went through the flood, that there were great canopies of water in the air and things were different. Um, one theologian said that he believed that um, one of the reasons why that people lived to be so old, Methuselah and his late 900s, Adam was over 900, you know, and, and Jacob was 100 years old when, you, you know, when, uh, when Abraham was born. And, you know, they were older people. Why did they live so old? One theologian said it was most likely because of the ions in the atmosphere that, um, you know, those and the, and the rays, the, the, what do you call them? The rays that age us from the sun, that those canopies were a filter from those rays. And, and, um, and because of that, we didn't age as quickly. And it looks like biblically that people probably aged a lot quicker after the flood because those water canopies were no longer there. But instead of the water canopies, God, everything changed. Had it rained before that, 
Many scholars say, no, this is a whole new thing. That's why when people said, well, it's going to rain, they're going, you know, how can we believe this? And by the way, what's rain? Yeah. So this is all speculation, by the way. But I think there's some good reason to believe it. So after the flood, everything changed. That's one of the things that changed. And because of that, the rainbow was a new phenomenon. But why the rainbow? Well, two reasons. Because scientifically, because it's a, a, a prism effect and it has to do with water. Secondly, it's God's promise to us that came about after the flood. So not a deeply spiritual lesson, but an interesting one. And thank you for the question. Folks, don't forget you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.